Well, hello everyone and welcome. My name is Robin and this is Nodding Hook Crochet. And today we are going to make a star granny square. For this project, you will need your crochet hook. I'm going to use a five millimeter, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle to work in your ends, and two colors of yarn. I'm going to use, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby in the color of ivory. And this ivory has the gold polyester winding through it because you know it's a star, it should sparkle. And I'm also going to use, I love this yarn, Desert Dust is kind of a brownish, sandy looking color. So let's get started. And we're going to start with the ivory with the gold running through it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is make a slip knot. Once you've made your slip knot, you're going to chain five. A snug five, not loosey-goosey, and slip stitch to the very first chain that you made. And that forms a little circle. Then you want to chain three. This chain three counts as a double crochet. And in the center of that circle, you're going to place 14 double crochets to give yourself a total of 15. So that's one. A double crochet is yarn over, go through the center of the circle, pull your yarn through, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, and go through two loops. So that's two. So we need 12 more. Okay, so you should have a total of 15, including your chain three. And you're going to slip stitch to join to the top of the chain three. And you now have a nice little circle. Now, if you don't like the chain five, you can always do a magic circle to start off with, but they have a tendency to fall apart in the laundry. So, your choice. The next thing we do is chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And in the second chain from the hook, this loop on your hook does not count. In the second chain from the hook, you're going to place a single crochet. In the next chain, a half double crochet. In the next chain, a double crochet. And in the next chain, which is the last one, a triple crochet. So you're going to skip two spaces, two stitches, and in the third, do a slip stitch and chain five. Three, four, five. In the second chain from the hook, a single crochet. In the next chain, a half double crochet. And in the next, a double. And in the last one, a triple crochet. Skip two, and in the third one, slip stitch. You should be looking like this. Chain five, 
three, four, five. Second chain from the hook, a single crochet. Next chain, a half double crochet. In the next chain, a double. And in the last one, a triple. Skip two, and in the third one, do a slip stitch and chain five. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Second chain from the hook, single crochet. Next chain, a half double crochet. The next chain, a double. And the last one is a triple crochet. Skip two, and in the third one, slip stitch. We now have four legs of our star. Chain five. Second chain from the hook, single crochet. Then a half double in the next. A double in the next one. And on the last chain, a triple crochet. We skip two and slip stitch to where we started off. And we're going to fasten off. And we are finished with our first color. And we have our five point star. Pretty cool. And you bring on your second color. Make a slip knot and at the tip of one of your star points you're going to attach with a standing single crochet. Now on this next part, you don't have to do this, but I think that it makes for a nice, cleaner edge. So your first stitch was your single crochet. We attached with a standing single. Our next stitch is going to be a half double. Now you can go through both loops if you want, or you can do it like me and go through just the back loop, do your half double crochet the next stitch through the back loop and do a double crochet. The next stitch back loop again, you're going to do an extended double crochet and that is yarn over and pull through one loop, then yarn over, pull through two and yarn over and pull through the last two. The next step stitch is two triple crochets together. So we're going to come into our last stitch on this arm and do a triple incomplete. We're going to leave two loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over twice. We're going to skip where we joined and come over to the next arm, the bottom stitch there and work our triple through two, two, and then through all three. The next stitch is the extended double. Pull through one loop, pull through two loops, 
and then the last two. The next stitch is a regular double, then a half double, and then at the tip of the star, a single crochet. Okay, so it should look like that. So now we're working back loop again. If you choose to do so, we start off with a half double, a regular double into the next stitch. The next stitch is an extended double crochet. Pull through one loop, then two and two, and then two triple crochets together. So we're gonna go pull through two, pull through two, and leave two loops on our hook, yarn over twice, and skip where we joined, and come to the first stitch on the bottom of the next star, arm, leg, whatever it's called. Two, go through two, and then go through all three. The next stitch is the extended double, so we pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. Then a regular double crochet, and the next is a half double crochet, and we're back to the tip of the star. We're going to do a single crochet. Coming down the next side here, working in the back loop, half double crochet, a regular double crochet, an extended double crochet, and then two triple crochets together. Pull through two, two, leave two on your hook, skip where your slip stitch join is, come over to the next arm, but first we have to yarn over twice. Come over to the next arm and pull through two, pull through two, and then pull through the last three. Next stitch is the extended double. Pull through one, pull through two, pull through two. Regular double in the next. The next stitch is a half double crochet. And at the tip of our star, it is a single crochet. Working down the next side, half double into the back loop, a regular double crochet in the next, an extended double crochet in the next stitch, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and then two triple crochets together. Pull through two, two, leave two on our hook, yarn over twice, skip our slip stitch join, and come over to the next leg or arm of the star, and triple, go through two, two, and then all three. Extend a double into the next stitch, one, pull through two, pull through two, regular double in the next, half double into the next stitch, and at the tip of our star, we do a single crochet. And we're looking like this. First stitch coming down this side is a half double, then a regular double, an extended double, 
and then two triple crochets together. Pull through two, two, leave two on our hook. Yarn over twice, skip the slip stitch join and come over to the next arm. Pull through two, two, and then all three. Working up the last leg here, our next stitch is an extended double. Then a regular double. And then a half double. And we will slip stitch to join. And that is how we should be looking so far. So we're in the top of our point where that single crochet was. So you're going to chain one and do a half double crochet into that stitch at the tip of the star. Then we're going to do in the next three stitches a single crochet. One, two, and three. Then we're going to do a half double. The next stitch is a double. The next stitch is an extended double crochet. Pull through one, pull through two, pull through two. Now we do a triple. We're about to form our first corner. Chain two. And in that same spot, do another triple. The next stitch is an extended double crochet. Pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two. Then a regular double crochet. And then a half double crochet. And then three single crochets. A half double crochet, a regular double crochet, an extended double crochet, pull through one, two, and two. And in the next stitch, we are going to do a triple. Chain two and do another triple into that same stitch, we're forming our second corner. Okay. So you should look something like this now. The next stitch is an extended double. Pull through one, two, and two. A regular double into the next. A half double in the next and then three single crochets one two and three half double double extended double and then a triple chain two do another triple in the same stitch Now 
Next stitch is an extended double. Pull through one, two, and two. Then a regular double. A half double. Three singles. One, two, and three. So we've made three corners. After our three singles, we do a half double, a regular double, the extended double crochet through one, two, and two. Next stitch is a triple. Chain two, and another triple in that same spot. Extended double crochet is next. And our last stitch of this round is a regular double crochet and a slip stitch to join to the top of our half double crochet that we started with. Okay, so you should look like this right now. Chain one and single crochet. We're gonna single crochet in each stitch all the way around. When we get to a corner, we're gonna place a single crochet chain two and another single crochet all in that corner space and then single crochet in each stitch till you get to the next corner when you make it all the way around you'll slip stitch to join and fasten off So then you will need your yarn needle. You're gonna work in your ends. And there you have it, one star granny square. You could make so many gorgeous little projects with this, baby blankets, big afghans, handbags, tops, sweaters, you name it. I mean, the, the options are just endless. Okay, so if you liked this star, if you click on this link right over here, you can see how to crochet a snowflake granny square. And we will see you in the next video. If not, we will see you over there.